Hey guys, uh, I've been getting a lot of questions on how to install the uh, Crisis Extreme uh, settings mod where you get the free in camera. But, uh, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install it and uh, make this a quick tutorial because I have a Modern Warfare 2 video to make. Alright, enjoy. Alright guys, as you can see, I am not using iFinity for this. Uh, I have those other two monitors off. Uh, another quick thing, I think I've mentioned it before. Um, if you're thinking of getting iFinity, uh, I'd wait. Keep your money. Right now, uh, actually a better thing to do is just keep an eye on my channel because uh, I'm going to be going through all the different stages of driver releases. And once you see that I'm getting a good amount of performance in it and I tell you it's worth getting it, pick it up then. But right now, save your money. It is definitely not worth going iFinity right now. Unless uh, you play, you know, racing games or whatnot. But if you want to play Crisis and all that shit, it is so buggy and you know I have two 5970s I can only use one because it only supports up to two GPUs at the moment not four so really wasn't worth getting but I got it so I could show you guys that and now you guys know so just keep an eye out uh, be patient for iFinity because like I said not worth it right now okay so let's go ahead and get into this tutorial first of all uh, I have the extreme settings mod do, 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 do. Where the fuck is it? Extreme quality mod, right here. Once you open that up, there is a... Right here. Extreme quality mod creator version 2. It's a basically a .xml file. Basically, right. how this works, you're going to go into your computer. Uh, make sure you save this uh, the file in a, a place you know where it is, like your desktop or whatnot. Uh, we're going to go into my local drive, programs, electronic arts. I did move Crisis from my uh, Raptor drive. I have to pick up a new one. Uh, this one's too small. So I'm going to go Crisis, and then we're going to go to Editor. Never mind. It's uh, bin 64, then Editor. We're going to launch the Editor, which is the sandbox. Um, if you don't have this installed, it's on your Crisis disk. If you explore it, you'll find the uh, installation or .exe file for the editor. Okay, so this is loaded. What we're going to do, we're going to go up to File, and we're going to go to Open. Then you're going to select uh, the hard drive in which Crisis is saved on. Electronic Arts, Crytek, Crisis. Then you're going to go to Game and Levels. And we're going to start with Island, just to make it easy. Now, bear in mind, you have to do this for each level. It's it's super simple, so it's not that big a deal. But, you know, a little bit of time consuming. should take you no more than 10 minutes to have it installed on the entire game. Uh, bear in mind, once you put it in and save it, this editor alters the game files, so in order to get it out, uh, to my knowledge, is a clean install of the game. I have no idea how to properly remove it. I'm sure there's a way. I don't know how. I probably should enable Crossfire for this so I get some good performance. Uh, like I said before, you can't use two 5970s with uh, Ifinity because it doesn't allow four GPUs at the moment. So let me just turn that on quick so I get some uh, decent performance to show you. Okay, now let's go back into the editor. Okay, so we're in the editor now. Uh, let's go to game. Now if you take a look, a, uh, I already have the uh, the mod installed so basically this is the final product you're gonna have oh. <clears throat> I miss playing crisis with uh, just one monitor my fucking you know 100 FPS is <laughs> really nice when you go from uh, fucking 20 in iFinity to over 100 in the uh, editor. Sorry, I'm just gonna... Oh, it's so much nicer than the fucking iFinity version. Anyways, yeah, more of the point. Okay, so, 
how we're going to do this is up here at the top, let me zoom in, there's a little button called Flow Graph, FG. You're going to click on that. That's going to open up a window like this. At the bottom in the corner here, it says Flow Graph. You're going to click on Entities and you're going to go to A1. Doesn't matter what you click. Doesn't matter at all. We're going to go to Cove Boats. All right? Then you're going to go into here. We see all this uh, little stuff here. Zoom in on that. There it is. Whatever, you can't see it. And you're going to go to Import. You're going to right click Import. Now, this is where you go to your desktop. You go to the Extreme Quality Mod. Go to where it's saved. And the XML will be imported into here. And now, as you can see, you see all these things? This is all different types of information that has been inputted into the game uh, for your your site and all that crap so what you're gonna do is just hit X and now as soon as you go and enter the game it'll uh... your camera should move like this 100% it will doesn't matter where you put that flow graph into it will end up like this to give it a more realistic feel. Now, watch Nomad. You see how he runs? He fucking runs around like a goof in here anyway. And when he tilts, it looks up and down, he tilts his body. Like you can see how he tilts his head to the left and looks up and down to the right and looks down. That's how he moves in the editor. That's why he moves like that in first person. That's why it looks like he's drunk, because that's the way he fucking runs. So just to explain that a little bit. What you're going to do next cool thing is you're going to go up to File, and you're going to go all the way down to Export to Engine, right under Change Mod. You'll click that, and you'll get uh, information at the bottom left-hand corner saying Exporting uh, Brushes, uh, blah, 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 and then it'll say Ready. Now, the mod has been exported into the game itself. Then, you go to File and Save. And you'll do this for each level. So let's say, you'll go back into your hard drive, Programs, uh, Electronic Arts, Crytek Crisis, Game, Levels, let's see, uh, Core. Actually, no. Now let's go back. Ascension. And then you open up ascension.cry. So here we are in Ascension. Okay. Um. I wouldn't recommend putting the mod into this level purely because you're flying. But again, to reiterate, flow graph up in the top right hand corner, FG, go to entities in the bottom left hand corner of the flow graph window, click on the first folder, extend it, and click on any of the uh, little things here as long as it brings up this graph, right click, import, go to your desktop. Extreme mod, go to the XML fold uh, file, and there you go. All of your settings for uh, aiming and uh, you know, blah 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 is put in. Now, one thing I forgot to mention go to the right hand corner or left hand corner of the window, you'll see a play button, a stop button, a pause button. Hit the play button, that will put the mod in, as you can see everything has changed visually because this also adds a uh, a graphics tweak switch to the game now uh, all the settings are in the game also looks different now Ooh. um the graphics tweak is basically uh, 
time of day mod, a um, little bit more motion blur, a little bit more realistic, and uh, what's it called, a uh, shader mod as well. Makes the game look better, it doesn't have any kind of performance hit or anything, so don't worry about that. Alright, so hopefully uh, that helps all those people who have been asking to see this, and uh, keep an eye out for later today.